The celebration of the German Emperor's birthday in 1908 was special in Palau. Spirits were high among the chiefs and German administration because of their recent triumphs. On the big day, mountains of cooked taro and fish and pork stood in each house in Koror. Station Commander Winkler appeared with his local police troop. As the school ceremony began, all the island chiefs appeared together. The young students sang and gave speeches in German, showing what they had learned even in the two years since the school opened. Who will win on Kaiser's Day is the question everyone was asking. Raimund Lyle, Capuchin Priest, 1908. Hundreds of people, far more than in previous years, attended. Many of the women now wore simple dresses, while the men had their hair cut shorter. They watched athletic events, canoe races, and dance competitions, the kind of contests that would confer status in the new era. All the while, Lo, now the most powerful man in Palau, surveyed the scene with satisfaction. At the same time, a strong reaction to modernization and the outside forces that brought it was also developing in Palau. Within the next 10 years, under the leadership of Temedad and others, it would flower into a reactionary religious movement known as Morigné. Uh, Morigné means to bring them together meaning the spirits of Palau with the people. And uh, Temithad was, was the leader uh, early on. Generally speaking, the Palauan remembrances of Temithad in his times are positive and that he was a great leader. Uh, the colonial remembrances of Temithad are, are more checkered than that. Things were going well for the Germans in Palau. All the government needed now was an industry, a source of commercial profits. That was provided by phosphate, a mineral used in fertilizers, which was discovered on the island of Angaur. In 1909, mining operations began there. Chinese were brought in to provide labor at first, but within a year, Germans began recruiting islanders for the work. Soon, 300 young men from Palau, Yap, and the atolls of the Central Carolines were living on Angaur. Housed in long wooden barracks, the men worked nine hours a day, six days a week, to earn the equivalent of $4 a month. They dug out the phosphate and loaded it on hand cars that carried it by rail to the dockside for loading onto German freighters.
In the evenings, they entertained themselves singing and dancing, thus passing on the stick dances, marching dances, and songs and chants that are so widespread today throughout the region. Even by the end of German rule, Palau did not have the roads or bridges that Yap had. But Palau experienced a thrust towards modernization far greater than ever before in its history. In 10 years time, the island group that had been a backwater in the region was catapulted into the 20th century.